Guys, this is Ryan. Welcome back to another video. Today I'll be showing you how to make a Minecraft server and allocate RAM, but also port forward it using uh, Utart. So what you want to do is just go here, download the latest version. So I'm just going to let it download. It says one. There's like another copy of it. But what you want to do is once you get it, like once it's done downloading, keep. Uh, once it's done downloading, make a folder somewhere on your computer. And then what you want to do after that is just, just drag it into that folder. So I made a folder in my, my spare um, hard drive. And it's called Minecraft Server Test. But you can call it just Minecraft Server. And what you, well, since, since it should look like this for you. It should look like this to you. So, so what you want to do now is then run it. So you want to let it let it run, and I'm not. I don't think. Yeah. Wait. Actually. Um. It. It. So it's done now. Um. They, these folders should be created, and then you should go to, um, Eula, then type or double click on it, then go onto it, and then type false or true I mean switch it to true then save it and then now what you want to do is go into here it's the most important part um, so you can customize your server however you like what you'll need to do is put your IP in here so what you'll need to do now is then go to CMD at the, the start or your search and then write IP config now what you want to do is you go here, um, go here, your IP, IP for uh, IPv4 address. You want to copy that. So this is all going to be blurred out because it's just so that um, you know no one can hack me. <laughs> Anyways, um, you want to put into server IP. And now what you want to do is just make sure. Yeah, basically that's it. So if you want to play, if you if you're using that other Minecraft version, the the, the free version that I um made a video about, um you want to make this false so that those people can join. Uh, you can change your motto. Um, that's basically it. So you just have to remember that your port, your well your port would be two two uh two five five six five. You don't change it there. Just keep that the same. It's right here. So two. 5565 that that's the port you use to uh, port forward the server so now you can close it so save and then uh, what you want to do now is then go uh, what do you call it new so you want to make a text box then write that, that. Oh, well you don't have to write it there it doesn't matter then now what you want to do is depending on how much RAM you have or how much you want to allocate I would if you have like four gigs of RAM I, sh I ensure that uh, I recommend that you you know add like two gigs of RAM at least or maybe one but since I have eight gigs of RAM I'm gonna allocate four so I'm just gonna chuck that four in I'm gonna copy it I'm gonna put it all in the description below so you can um, uh, I'm gonna get rid of that obviously um, I'm put it in the description below so that you can um, you know uh, easily um, added into your you know files so now since this is the name of the file or the, the server jar which is that so what you want to do is remove minecraft because it only says server.jar so remove that then remove that make sure the dot's still there and now you can just save as and then you want to save it into the file then make it all files and uh then make it call, call it run dot bat and save it there and I'm pretty sure it should open yet yeah, it should become one of those files the Windows batch files so you can delete that now okay um, run dot bat and then now what you want to do is just press run so what it's what it's essentially doing is it's running the file and then it's also allocating the RAM that's uh, needed so you can see here that it's chucking my IP right here again, sadly, so I have to blow that out. Um, and it's also now going to generate the world. So while this world's generating, what you want to do is just go to uTorrent or Torrent, and where's the download link? Is it, is it this one? Yeah, it should be this one. Then just download it. Wait, no, not right web. Classic, I mean. Download the classic. So just scroll, which is what I did. 
and just download it should look this look like this when you run it so now I will go and open it up because I already have it downloaded so now this is what it should look like and and it's it's pretty easy to port forward using uTorrent so what you want to do is go options preferences and then right here where it says port used for incoming connections it should have a random number I'm pretty sure but um, put in 25565 which is the one that allows you to port forward your server and press OK and then make sure uTorrent is running in the background you don't have to do anything else with that so you can just leave it there and while we're at it I'm gonna show you how your friends will be able to join you so when you're joining your server you would use that IPv4 address which is what you used to put into your server previously just that's for you to join or anyone in your you know your internet connection your LAN if they want to join your server they have to use that but if your friends from a different area or from like I don't know your neighborhood or something wants to join that aren't that isn't using your internet has to uh, use this IP so what you want to do is go IP, ch IP uh, chicken or you can just type up IP and it will take you to this web browser and you literally just need to get this and give it to them and I'm pretty sure just do colon 25565 and it should work and that's how your friends will join so I'm going to show you that the server works alright so what I needed to do is I needed to press enter for some reason so I pressed enter and now it's generating the world which is cool cool uh, I can close that so you already got it you already got it downloaded you got it port forwarded already and you got you know the IP for your friends to join and your own IP so all you need, need to do now is just wait for the, the world to generate. Oh, see, so it's done. So all the files should have appeared here. You can, if you're playing on online mode, you can whitelist and all those things, commands. You can probably just look it up yourself. It's, oh, it's pretty self-explanatory. Just type whitelist, well, like right here. You just whitelist. I'll do it now. Whitelist on. So now your whitelist is turned on. And then you want to, now, now you want to do is type whitelist add and then my username, which is, uh, J I think it's just love Ruby. I think. I'm pretty sure that's my username. And so the world's done. So I'm going to go and turn on Minecraft now. So Minecraft. And uh, it has that new, like, uh, UI, which is really cool. I like it a lot. See, so it looks pretty nice. Make sure it's in the latest version. And to basically just update the server every time a new version comes out, come back to this website. A new link will be here. Download it. And it should have the same name, but it would have a different number. Just make sure you put the right one in and just rename it so that it's still server.jar, which is easy. See, it's already here, but this is only one one gig of RAM. So I'm using four gigs of RAM. I've got to unfull screen this Minecraft right now. I start it up, and now I can show you how to join the server. So now what you want to do is go multiplayer, add server, and just put in your IP4 address here. So it's pretty simple. It should end up looking like this. You know, it'll show the, the speed of the server and how many people are on it. So then now you'll just join it just to show that it works. All right, so what in this world, it's whitelisted. So meaning you, only you can join, which is uh, a, a benefit if you want to try and avoid random people from joining, I guess. Anyways, um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please leave a like and subscribe. I really appreciate it if you do both of those because it show your support and I know like I can calculate I can like you know I guess I can like calculate how many people I have you know supporters I have which always makes or would make me feel more motivated to upload a lot more videos because you know if, if there are, is if there isn't like a, a fan base I guess or like a community like surrounding my YouTube channel like I, I, I feel like there's like no point to upload and I, I get like unmotivated so Anyways, uh, goodbye. <laughs>